whatever the world throws at you, take it on. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Be unstoppable. The all new 2015 Ford Edge. Welcome back to the Tarleton Sports Network presented by the North Texas Ford Dealers. I'm Kelton Weens here with Tarleton head cross country uh, coach Pat Ponder. First question, uh, coach. Uh, well, first of all, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. It's good to be back. It's always uh, exciting whenever September comes around. Yes, you know, it is. Get the fall sports back uh, going again. First of all, you've got some great returners on your team. Yes. Tyler Ferrar, Chase Radke, uh, among others. We know how magnificent of runners those two are, but... Who else uh, is coming back on your team that you really expect is going to have a great year? Well, you know, let's start with the ladies first. Um, obviously, Allie's back, and uh, we have Audrey Shelton back. We have uh, Tylo Farrah back, and Caitlin Huckabee. So there's four ladies from our 2013 team that qualified for nationals. So they're back, and then we've got an addition of some, some young ones here. And then on the men's side, we have, obviously, Chase Rackey back, Dylan Willett, Ty Doty, Luke Scribner, um, you know, I won't forget some, but uh, Thorne Pettigrew, Dallas Rushing, uh, then we have Mason Warble. Um, those guys are back, and those are all seniors. We have seven seniors, and then we have Andrew Clark, um, and then we have um, Cameron Milligan is an addition, uh, Kyle Kersey is an addition to the team. So I think I think uh, I've done okay. Didn't leave anybody out, but that sounds about right. Peyton Henning. Peyton Henning. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, Peyton. Um, and uh, he's our little sophomore this back. Uh, on the other side of that, coach, uh, New Year's, new faces coming mm -hmm. in. Um, who's really going to make an impact this year for Tarleton? That's new, uh, or maybe in the years to come. Well, years to come. I think that's where I want to approach that. I think obviously uh, the new newcomers, Andy Carlton, uh, on the women's side, uh, she she brings some experience uh, to the table. Uh, Claire McNeil um, is relatively new to the sport, and we kind of picked her up, uh, you know, not knowing exactly what uh, you know how she'd fit in the scheme of things. But I think she's going to be fine uh, on the lady side, and and then uh, as far as the men's side, you know, obviously. Our future is going to probably rest with uh, Peyton and uh, and Andrew uh, and those guys, and then Cameron Milligan is, is a pretty solid freshman. Uh, Kyle, we kind of picked up on the on the you know on the late recruiting trail, which I think he'll be good once he kind of gets um, into the mindset of being a collegiate athlete. I, th I think that's coming. Uh, Coach, uh, preseason polls really don't serve much purpose other than uh, talking points. Right, but, right. Uh, the Texans picked to finish second in the LSC. The Texans picked to finish fourth. Uh, what What's your take on how the conference is going to shake out this year? Well, you know, that's that's yet to be seen. I guess we'll know the 26th of October when we're hosting here, and, mm -hmm. and that'll be fun. You know, obviously, WT is is solid. You know, we, we know about them and their tradition. And then Midwestern on the women's side, though, you know, I, I think you could say without a doubt – they're going to be uh, a formidable opponent, and, and I think it's going to be fine. But you never can count out, you know, the Angelo States and, and uh, A&M Commerce. You know, they're going to be tough. Kingsville, you know, it's just I think up and down we've got a competitive uh, conference. And, and, and so I think uh, it's going to come down to who, you know, executes the race plan on that day. And then I think, um, you know, I think we're going to be motivated uh, without a doubt. I think the guys and the girls are, are certainly excited about hosting the conference championships here. And, and you know, this is kind of what we've been looking for. This is kind of what I set the, the team up, you know, when we redshirted Ali and Chase and Ty. And, and, and then you have the additions of, of the Dallas Rushings and the Dylan Willets and all that just kind of component comes mm -hmm. together. So it'll be fun. Uh, final question, Coach. You open up the season this weekend in Denton at the Ken Garland Invitational at North Texas. Yes. Uh, give us your thoughts on that race. Well, you know, it's going to be fun. Uh, again, not really knowing what to expect from. You know, we've been training for a couple of weeks now, and and, uh, and so racing will certainly be uh, uh, you know, a little different for some of these uh, young athletes. But uh, it'll be fun to see how the freshmen respond. You know, I already know how Allie and Chase and Ty and, and you know Audrey and Caitlin and Tylo, you know that mix of upper class. When we know what they're going to what they're going to do, they're going to bring they're going to compete. Mm -hmm. And you know North Texas, you know they ran at Baylor a couple of weeks ago, and and you know they perfect scored that meet on the men's side. Uh, their women are pretty solid, and then you bring in Baylor women uh, and men are going to be strong. 
Uh, Oklahoma's coming, and obviously they've got some kids that I, you know, I know about because we we saw them in in recruiting uh, trail. And then you have uh, SMU women, uh, so that's the Division One uh, teams, and then UTA and TCU will be there, and so they're you know obviously Division One, so they should be pretty strong. Uh, and and then from they're going to double score this meet, so we're going to we're going to be scored against uh, say uh, Mississippi College. Will be scored against uh, Wiley College, so mm-hmm. you know I feel pretty good about our chances. I don't want to ever take anything for granted, but I I, I know uh, Mississippi College is a young team, mm-hmm. uh, mostly sophomores and freshmen, and so uh, what I told my athletes, uh, you know, last week and and even remind them this week, you know, our our go to is to go to UNT and and to win the meet. Right. Uh, anything uh, less than that, I don't know why we'd be going. Uh, that's what you do in competition. You go to win. And if we go to win, uh, then I think I like our chances of, of, uh, of you know, how we fare in the end. Not going to say that we're going to win, but that's kind of what we're, we're going for. And uh, so we'll see. But, you know, we're going to have some strong leaders. And we've got some athletes, uh, Kelton, that can, can, can toe up with any of the Division One guys. I think they know that. And so this is going to be a good challenge for us. And I think we're going to challenge some of those uh, teams as well. Well, thank you very much for your time today, thank Coach. Thank you. I appreciate good, it. Good luck this weekend. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to tarletonsports.com for more information.